everybody, welcome back, and today we are doing a Shop My Samples update. <sighs> you know, I'm not even going to sit here and talk about how, how good I did, how bad I did, whatever. I used up some samples, and that's the whole point of this, okay? The whole point is to use up some samples, and I've done that, so I feel good about myself. Um, we're going to jump right into this. As always, links to everything will be down below if you're curious, if you are not familiar with this Project Pan, I am going through my ridiculous sample drawer and using them up. Because why do I have a sample drawer? That makes no sense. So I start off with 10 samples, I use them up, and as I use them up, I roll in another 10. It is a rolling project pan. This has been going on for many months now. I've made some progress in my sample drawer, and at the end of the video, I will show you what my sample drawer is currently looking like. We are making pretty good progress. We are almost to the actual organizers instead of just the shit piled up on top in front of the organizers. And I feel like that's a good thing. Also, um, I've mentioned this a couple times on like Instagram, maybe in a video or two, I don't know. I am doing another decluttering series. Um, normally I would do that in 2022, but I am starting it this month with like one video and then it's gonna be like three videos a month until everything is decluttered. So I think it's going into like March. Okay, so make sure you subscribe if you wanna see that. I will not be decluttering my sample drawer though. I thought about it and I'm already like trucking along with this project pan. I decluttered it before I organized it. So everything in there I know that I wanna try. Okay. All right, let, let's go. Um, so product number one was the Bumble and Bumble uh, Hairdressers Invisible Oil Primer. I love this, and I've talked about this before. I literally purchased these in the full size at full price, which if you're new here, that is not normal for me. I do not like to pay full price for like literally any beauty products. I avoid it as much as possible. But primer, I ran out of, like heat protectant, I ran out of, and this is my holy grail heat protectant, so I ended up buying two bottles of these at full price. Um, this, obviously, I liked using because it meant I was using less of my full size bottle. Uh, and I finished this off. I liked it. Of course, I'd repurchase the full size. I already have. Like, this is literally what I'm using right now in the full size, so I just switched to this for a couple weeks. I literally finished this off a couple days ago, though, because um, this is a big size. This is two fluid ounces. So I finished this off really recently, and I brought in the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, this little guy. I have not used this at all yet, so this will be going into the next round with me. I'm excited. I love Tatcha. Oh, the products are just so, like, just so nice, okay? <laughs> Number two, I started with the Tula Skin Care Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. Um, I really thought this was going to go by so fast. I really did. Because I was like, it's so tiny. How much primer could be in here? This is like a silicone-based primer, so you need such a small amount to cover your entire face. And this lasted me much longer than I thought it was going to. I loved this, though. This was so nice. I would definitely purchase this again. Tula is one of those brands that I feel like I've tried so many products from them, and I have yet to try something that I don't absolutely love. So yeah, I definitely repurchase this again in the future. It was a good little guy. Um, and then I'm replacing that, I replaced it, with the Cake the Curl Friend Totally to Die For Defining Curl Cream. I'm using this as like a leave-in. Here's the thing though. My current leave-in won't fit in my medicine cabinet where I normally keep it because it's too tall, okay? Um, so I have it sitting out on my counter in my bathroom. Um, and I keep reaching for it because I forget this is there. So I've been using this, but I this is going into the next round with me because I haven't used it enough. Um, so it's, we'll see it again next month. For number three, this is the only one. No, it's not. There's two. No, there, okay. Number three. Um, this is the Biro Salmon Cream. This is 0.67 fluid ounces, which is almost a full ounce. This, and, and like, what is a regular moisturizer? An ounce? This is almost a full ounce of moisturizer. And I am almost done with it. I have about that much left. Um, so this will be going into the next round with me. I'm hoping to finish it up, obviously, um, but we're trucking through. We're working on it. For number four, I had started with the Hand Skin um, PHA Pore Cleansing Oil. I love this. This is such a good cleansing oil. I'm not a big fan of this packaging, you know, but I love the cleansing oil. It's so great. Um, yes, I would buy it in the full size for sure. It worked really well actually and it removed a good amount of my makeup. I typically, because I would use this um, in the shower, I would like use this, remove my makeup, and then wash my face. I would have a little bit of smudging around my eyes depending on my eye look, but it got off a lot and I like that. Um, I would get it again. I would want to get it on a sale though because it's not like my holy grail. It's not my absolute favorite. 
So if I could get it for like a really good price, I would jump on that. When I finished that up, I ended up bringing in my second bottle because somehow I had managed to get two of these. Um, I used up this one too. It's still a little bit of product at like the bottom here and I cannot get that out and it's because of how the packaging is. So I like these. They're not holy grails, but I would repurchase them if I could get them at like a good price. They're pretty good. They just do leave a little bit of like eye makeup behind. Uh, and then I literally, I literally finished this off yesterday. And so I just picked out a new product. I have not even I have not even tried it yet, and I'm kind of nervous about it. This is the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam in Dark. It's salon quality coconut scent. If you guys have followed me at all, you know that I cannot self tan. Um, it's not. It's just not in my expertise of products. Okay, I can't do it. But I'm gonna try. Here's the thing. I am gonna give myself an out with this. If I try this and it goes terribly, terribly wrong, um, I it will not continue it, and it will not be an empty. So we'll have to see. I'm hopeful, obviously, because I still have tanning products. I still, you know, I get that bug every once in a while and I want to try. Um, and it would be nice to have a tan for once in my life. But I'm going to try it. We'll see how it goes. It's going into the next round. We'll have to see. Okay, number five is interesting. Um, this is really just such a dumb thing that I've done. So I started with the Cover Up X High Performance Setting Spray. This was a .33 fluid ounce size, um, so it went pretty quick. I love this setting spray. I own the full size already, so yes, I would buy the full size of this for sure. It's a good setting spray. It's just good for like everyday kind of basic wear, and it makes your, it helps your makeup stay in place. Like it helps lock it in. So I like it. It works. Um, I use that up pretty quickly at the beginning of the month. And then I moved in, when I finished that, I moved in the Christoph Robin Detangling Jelly, okay? I don't know where it is. I can't find it. I don't know what I've done with it. I'm pretty sure I have like a general idea of what's happened to it, so I need to find it. I'm not letting myself off the hook though. I will be taking the Christoph Robin product into the next round and I need to find it because I actually have, I have that one in the full size too. And I want to try it because um, I haven't tried it yet because I want to try the little sample first. I don't know what I'm doing. But I lost it, so I'm gonna find it. That's what we're gonna do, okay? And I'm not letting myself off the hook. I'm gonna find it. Let's talk about number six. Um, I started with the Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Dew Drops. No, I hate these. I don't like the Mario Badescu brand. And honestly, I, <laughs> I don't know why I'm still using this shit. I really don't, I really don't. I don't, nothing good comes from this stuff. Mario Badescu's products, like there's so much alcohol in them. Um, I don't like it. And I don't feel like these really did anything. So I would not repurchase these. I wouldn't repurchase anything by Mario Badescu, but for whatever reason I'm using the samples of them. Because at this point it's just like a personal vendetta. Like now like I need to know. I don't know. I use this up though. I wouldn't repurchase it. Uh, I switched to the Briogeo Superfoods Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. Loved this. Yes, I would repurchase it. Smells so good. I love Briogeo products. Oh, it smells so good. And it made my hair feel really nice, too. So, yeah, this one I would repurchase. I may... I don't think I have, actually. I don't think... I don't think... I don't think I have this in the full size. But it's a good one. I'd get it in the full size. When I finished that off, I switched to the Grow Gorgeous Intelligent Hair Care Repair Strengthening Hair and Scalp Mask. This one I didn't like as much. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It just didn't do... I mean, the other one smells a lot better. This has more of like a muskier scent. It still smells good, but it just didn't do as much for my hair. Like it didn't feel like it did as much for my hair. So this one, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick up in the full size. Um, after I used up that, what is this? Six? Six is a busy round this month. I used the Nature Lab Perfect Shine Clarifying Scalp Scrub. I've, t I've talked about this before because this is one of my favorites. It's one of the best scrubs ever. Um, so yes, I would purchase this in the full size. I love it so much. I really want to try the Nature Lab shampoo and conditioner. I think that I've tried them and I've liked them, but I want to get like the full sizes. But yes, yes, I'd get this in the full size. As a matter of fact, there's only one scalp scrub that I like more than that. And that's what I'm taking in the next round. This is the Christoph Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. Um, I think, do I have this in the full size? I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. This smells so good. And this is seriously one of the like grittiest, saltiest salt scrubs ever. It makes your scalp feel so good. It gets up any buildup from like hair care products and anything like that. So yes, 100%. Oh, taking that into the next round. Can't freaking wait. Number seven. I started with the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. I have this in the full size. A lot of my samples I do. And that's why I kept them when I decluttered. 
if you notice a trend here. Um, this is actually coming in the next round with me though because I am about right here. The nice thing about this oil is you don't need a whole lot, so it lasts a long time, including the 0.85 fluid ounce bottle. That'll be going in the next round with me. Number eight. The Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Sage and Orange Blossom. This is the two fluid ounce size. Um, obviously, I did not use this up. Uh, this will also be going in the next round with me, and I have about that much left, so I'm assuming that this will end up being used up by next round. We'll have to see. We'll talk about it then. Number nine, I started with the Tula 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I use this at nighttime. This is so great. I don't think that I would use this for daytime. It was really thick and like rich, really moisturizing, really hydrating. I loved it. I feel like it would almost be like too thick for daytime, for my personal tastes. Like the Biro Salmon Cream, I feel like it's perfect for daytime because it's thin, right? It sinks in quickly. This is definitely almost more of like an experience moisturizer. Like it's richer, it's thicker. Um, it says, it describes it as light and whipped. To me, it was pretty thick, so I don't know. Um, I would repurchase it in the full size for sure because it was a fabulous moisturizer, but I would not use it during the daytime, personally. Um, after I finished that off, I pulled in the Way Detox Shampoo. I had talked about this because I bought the full size, um, not ever having tried it, and I haven't tried it yet, and I, and I was like, I really hope, I'm gonna try the sample, and, and I really hope that I like it because I have the full size already, so it's gonna really suck if I don't like it. Oh my God. First of all, it smells so good. I love the Whey products. They smell so good. This was phenomenal. My hair felt so good afterwards, like new hair, like just new. Oh my God, it was so good. And I had a couple people tell me in my last video where I had first talked about this, that this was like one of their favorite shampoos. I get why. This is so good. So yes, for sure, 100%. I would get that in the full size. I have it in the full size. I can't wait to use it. Um, this is actually, so once I use that up, I brought in this. This is actually from my last Ipsy box. And I went ahead and just used it. This is the Theory Body Detoxifying Charcoal Body Scrub. This is actually really nice too. I'm not super huge into charcoal products. There are a couple of them that I really like, but most of the time I'm just kind of meh about it. This was really nice. It was like thinner, but the scrub was still really great. And it was almost like like an oil scrub, if that makes sense, because it was like thin, but moisturizing, but scrubby. I liked it. I've never heard of this. I think I may have heard of this brand before, but I've never heard of this product before. And it actually worked really well for me, so I would definitely look into buying that in the full size in the future. And then once I finished that off, which was also yesterday, I, I pulled in my next product. This will be going around the next round with me. This is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. Hmm. So, next round. Okay, and then the last number 10 item. I started with the Tula Skincare, the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. The funniest part to me is this is actually the face wash that I have open in my shower right now. Um, I love this. It's such a good face wash. It's such a good, like, everyday, just basic, simple face wash. And the big, like, the full-size bottles are huge. So, yes, I like this. I'd repurchase it. I have a couple of them in my stash because I love it so much. It's really good. I like it. I finished that off. I pulled in the Murad Essential Sea Cleanser. This one I, uh, is empty too. I finished this one off. This is also really good. I really like the Murad skincare products. Murad and Tula are two of my favorite skincare brands because so much of their stuff is just good. Like there's no, it's just so much of it is just good. So yes, I would repurchase this in the full size too. And I like this one because this one definitely makes your skin feel a little bit more like refreshed and renewed. It is the environmental, it's from their environmental shield line and I like it. It works really well. Finished that off yesterday. Yesterday was a good day for sample empties, okay? And so I'm going to be bringing in um, this little Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Flash Perfection Exfoliating Treatment. You can massage onto your skin or you can put it on your skin and leave it for five minutes instead. So I think, and I don't think I've ever tried this before. It's still like sealed and everything, but I think this is like my first one of this. I think this is like a scrub. I'm gonna have to kind of Figure, I'm gonna like look it up and figure it out before I start to use it because it's so tiny there's no information on it but I'm excited about it because I love sand and sky and I'm always down for new and exciting products so that will be going that will be going into the next round with me as well okay so I used up a grand total of 14 products this month 14 samples um that's definitely not as good as it has been in the past before but I feel like that was a solid month and considering the fact that I lost one of them completely um I may have used that one up too if I had had it. 
okay? And also, I've been really, really shitty about using my skincare this month. <sighs> So we're going to work on that, okay? Uh, but I'm proud of myself. 14 more products gone. Let's take a quick peek into the drawer, and you guys can see the progress there. Okay, so forgive how dirty this is right now. Um, this is what the drawer looks like. These products are like the extra facial sprays, and then a couple of, like, one-time use sachets down here. And honestly, can we just look? I have two more Mario Badescu facial sprays. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these, and I'm going to... See if someone else wants them. Worst case, I'm gonna toss them out because they suck, and I don't, I don't want to use these anymore. I really don't. I'm so tired of using these, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. But this is now what the drawer is looking like. So you've got a bunch of more room up here, and then once like these will obviously be like super quick to use up, and then that'll be left. So those are gonna be what I work on next. These are extra facial sprays and cleansers, so obviously I'm just kind of waiting until I use some of those up, and then we can move back on to this wonderful section. We're making good progress though. Okay, so I am I am still going to finish off this Mario Badescu spray because I'm so close to being done with it, but these two, I am gonna let go. I don't want them anymore. I don't wanna use them anymore. My personal vendetta, I'm bored of it, okay? Those are gonna go. But we're making some really good progress and I'm starting a new project pan on my Instagram um, with my sheet masks because I need to get through some of those too because those I've had those for so long and I need to start using them up. Okay, I feel good, I feel good. A new year is almost here you guys, a new start. Um, lots of fun and exciting videos coming up so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more of me. And also make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will catch you guys next time. What samples are you using up? What is the, the most recent sample that you've tried that has made you buy the full size? Let me know down below. And I'll catch y'all next time. Goodbye.